Good morning and welcome to this presentation, everyone. My name is Arsh Patella. I'm a functional consultant with Western Computer and I will be covering today's presentation. So you can see I'm within Dynamics 365 and let's dive straight in. So you can see that within modules, we have one called Asset Management. So maintenance request is I'm walking along the floor and I notice, hey, something seems wrong with one of our assets. It's corrective maintenance. It's waiting for somebody to put in a request, whether that is this is broken or I think it might break or I see a leak, whatever it may be. It requires a human intervention to go do any sort of maintenance. So to do that, I have to put in a maintenance request. I can put in my maintenance request from a workspace. Workspaces are a new feature in Dynamics 365. This didn't exist in 2012. And the really nice thing is, is that workspaces are very easy to publish to mobile devices. So you don't need to have to do this from a computer. You can do this directly from your phone. And so if a user's walking around, they notice something's wrong, they can go to their phone, they can go to a tablet, go into this workspace and open up a new maintenance request. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say create maintenance request. And I see here that by default, we have a maintenance request of corrective, but I'm gonna say, I want this to be an inspection. Your maintenance request is quite important. So let's drill into this. Maybe the maintenance request type here doesn't have too much, but what has a life cycle and we are gonna look at that. And then we have a default work order type. So what this work order type is, if my maintenance request leads to the creation of a work order, what is my default work order type? If we look at our life cycle, you see that we have four states. Again, let's go look at what those states mean. So I'm gonna go into maintenance requests in my life cycle states. And here you can see that you have these various options. So when something's in a new state, we can see that the maintenance request itself is active and it allows us for the creation of a work order and for the deletion of that maintenance request. However, as soon as it's moved in progress, that means you can no longer create a work order, most likely because the work order has already been created. So it's still active, but these are now blank and you can have something that goes rejected or finish. Both of those will set the actual end. And of course, at that point, it's no longer active and you can no longer create any of the work orders. So that is the maintenance request types. And you can see as per usual, you can say where it goes. So from new, I can either move it to in progress or to rejected. Once in progress, I can finish it. And once it's finished rejected, you can't do anything from there. So let's go back. I'm creating my maintenance request. And then here I have to pick an asset. So I'm just gonna pick my bear knife. So I'll say it's my line one and it's my bear knife. And now you don't have to put that in right away, but you should, because before a work order can be done, we have to know where is it and which asset are we working on. Under description, I can say air knife is leaking. And then under my service level, I say, all right, which one is it? So I'm gonna say that's high. Leaking is kind of bad. Fault symptom, so you can choose to optionally specify this. So what is the fault that I'm noticing? So maybe it's slow, the engine is surging, but fine and simple, it's just an air leak. You can say what kind of area, and you can also say the fault type. So is it catastrophic, is it harmful, so on and so forth. All of these, by the way, are user-defined lists. So it's up to you to say, what are my fault symptoms, areas, and types? What makes the most sense for my organization? So under our notes, I can say, while walking around today, I noticed a leak in our air net. And there we go. I have now submitted my maintenance request. There's my service level. You can choose to have a default for responsible based on locations and asset types. I've just left that blank for now. And you can see we're currently in the new state. Here are my notes and you can add in a timestamp and then I can say, hey, is anyone following up? So you can choose to put that in as well. You can choose to put in a specific job type, but this we're gonna leave. So that is me putting in my maintenance request. 